Okay, yeah, so new year, new, new you, new year, new you? No, same me. Same you. All new right. year. Just with little improvements every year, I want to make little improvements. As you should. As, as you, you should. should, right? As you should, as, as you should especially. You're, fine. you're talking about me or you're talking about people who are watching this? You behind the lens. <laughs> Oh, okay. Happy New Year, everybody. It is 2022. We made it. We made it. We made it. We want to thank you for sticking with us throughout all the years. And for our newbies, subscribe to the channel and to our Facebook and all our social channels. Welcome. All the best for 2022. I am so happy to be back in the Eat Food Kitchen. Even though Badawi has me doing all the work, you'll notice how the setup a little different this time. Nothing in cut up. I don't cut up the carrot, cut up the pimento, the onion, the garlic, everything. Finally working for your pay then. <laughs> You're lucky we're on camera. I had some choice words. <laughs> but I'll reserve my comments. Yeah, guys. So you have me doing all the work, but it is a pleasure um, to do it. I like cooking. I like cooking on the show and inviting you guys along, right? So today we are going to show you how to survive the 100 days in January. Yes. I always tell people, do not go buck wild come Christmas time because you have to survive the 100 days in January. And we are cooking a very, very lovely, yummy dish that we all love, which is bhaji and rice. We added in a little chicken in there and it is coming straight out of Badawi's cookbook called Guava Season. If you have not downloaded that book yet, go right now on the Eat Food website and download it for me, please. He's going to put a lower third or whatever they call it somewhere there at the got bottom. I know, I know, I got, got myself, you, you know, I educate myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's down there in the lower third or in the comment section or wherever. Only go and download the book I did. It is absolutely free. F R E E. I know only Trini is like free thing. We all like free thing. So download the book, guys. It's a quick read. It is some of his best recipes that he had growing up, and he dedicated the book to his dear mom, who I have not met in person yet. I've just seen her in photos and in him talking about her, right? So he dedicated this book to his mom. And it's a really, really nice and special book. So only go and download it now. I don't want to talk about it much because we're actually going to be making one of the dishes from the book. So we're going to chiffonade. That's the term, right? Chiffonade. I know, I know, I know. We're going to mm. chiffonade the kalulu bush. And um, it just means putting it all together, like um, laying it one on top of the other, folding it. And then when you cut, you're going to get like thin, thin strips, right? So that's the technical term, in case you didn't know. And... Uh, and you're sure you know, the technical terms, lower thirds, chiffonade. Could you just allow me, please, and let's continue with the show. Okay. <laughs> and um, I guess all of the little things that I, the, the skills that I use in the kitchen is from watching um, food shows, Food Network one in particular, but I also see, but Dawi is also good with the knife skills. So you see the knife never supposed to leave the cutting board. I know you all know this already, but in case you don't know. So you do that and then you have your fingers like this so that you don't get, yeah, you don't. Yeah. You all know the thing. You don't want to lose any fingers. And then yeah, we don't want to lose any fingers. And guys, sometimes I be a little lazy. I put on the people them fake nails and the amount of times I take off a nail in the process, but we ain't doing that today, right? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so see how fast we can do this, cut it all up. But now I just want to say that I really, really appreciate you because already I'm breaking a sweat from cutting up all of this and I'll start, but... You being facetious or being for real? A little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get this um, all ready. Max, some questions. Mm -hmm. Sure, how not too hard. No, how you started cooking? Um, oh gosh, I hope my mom doesn't... Um, Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I always say there are three things I cannot do with her. Cook, drive, and work. Everything must be her way or the highway, right? So I would only cook in the kitchen if like I'm experimenting. I'm doing things that she has never done, right? So that's how I used to get a little blind in the kitchen. Because I used to tell her, I said, well, mommy, have you ever made this before? So I go tell me what to do. So allow me now. So I would think that's how I got my little break. Um, and then more so when um, 
I moved out on my own, although I still go back home and get food from mommy, you know what I mean? Especially on the little Sundays. But, um, you know, I, I started, you know, really cooking a lot on my own because well, I had to because the girl got to eat. But I would say for me, I always, um, I was always into cooking meals that was kind of non-traditional, you know, so. Would that be the like food network influence? Yes, a lot of the food network influence, a lot. But um, so, so would you say? Would you would you admit that your um, your approach to food generally is sort of I would say Americanized? Oh, again, we're controversial. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me questions. Um, I okay. I would say yes and no. Not just Americanized. I think. Because the people that I watch on Food Network, their background, they have a lot of French influence. So it's from there, you know, you kind of learn the basics of butter and the reaction with butter and, you know, all those kind of things. Um, so I would not say not American, but I guess... International. International, I would say, right? Okay. And um, I've come to appreciate, I'd, and I might get real thing for this, this might be controversial, but I don't care. We believe sometimes that if food has green seasoning, that that is when it will taste good. But guys, food don't always, you don't always have to season your meat with green seasoning for it to taste good. <laughs> I know people say, what? What? Girl, get off. And for me, Shadow Benny is not me. Is that, is that me? That is just me, right? You see, sometimes too, you want to actually taste the flavor, you actually want to taste the meat itself. So I would advise you, or encourage you, try seasoning a uh, chicken breast. Badawi is not, he's, he doesn't believe me. But Badawi, you don't put green seasoning on everything. I don't. But, okay. But the thing is this, right? Um, it's something that I, I guess, realize mm -hmm. about our food. Um, you see the same way different cuisines have a very signature taste yes. profile. Yes, correct. I think green seasoning is the thing that gives, gives us food. i know i completely yeah. agree with you so while yes i you know i would advocate for trying different things and letting yes. ingredients shine through and that kind of thing mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. i fully endorse the use of green seasoning because mm -hmm. it is definitely that thing that has given our food agreed agreed a very signature agreed specific. and it's an only please i am trini to the bone Trinity the bone, it's not that I'm against green seasoning. I season meat and I put a little green seasoning in, in this here. So it's not that I'm against it. I am just saying that don't think that the odd time that you don't use green seasoning, that your food is not going to taste good. That's what I'm saying. I hope you all get my point, right? Yeah. I think you explained it. Good. Yeah, I had to because I want nobody to come for me in the comments. All is a new year. It's a new year. If all they come in for me in the comments, I will come right back. You're on your own, eh? Let's know that you're on your own. No, I, I mean, really you, can only, you can only comment and go back here, but, 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 you know, if you decide to go to war. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> that kind of person. I am not that um, confrontational person. I am not. And I mean, we welcome you guys' comments and stuff, but I mean, keep it respectful now. I I wonder, agree, if I I say, wonder if I should say this, because I mean, we... You could, of course, of course. You see the people who just come from with my hair being out? Deal with it. I like my hair. If you don't like it, watch another channel, but it will be your loss. When you're watching Food Network and you're watching Jada and all these people with their hair out, you tell them anything? Why must I put a hair, hair net on my head? Why? Why? We, tell we, me why. We why, but we don't get into that. Sorry. Okay. No, I, no, no, I'm not saying... You know, yeah, I'm saying. cooking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 It's yeah. not to say I am cooking for people. Yeah. I am cooking in the comfort of my own kitchen. This mm. is my kitchen. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I am here, even though it's Madari studio, mm. when I am here, it is my kitchen. You know what I mean? And I agree. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't I, watch it, I yeah. Really, just I show me what I look. You know? Yeah. I, I, I'm not, I well, they coming at me because I want to come out looking a little cute. Allow me to look a little cute now, man. Yeah, I, I will make no qualms in saying this. If somebody has something against your hair and watching this channel, stop watching the channel. I will not miss them. Go away. I don't care. I didn't say that. I, I say that. If that is your prejudice, go away. Won't miss you. Moving on along. <laughs> Moving on along. 
All right, guys, I'm almost finished here, right? And this is actually the same method. almost finished. You can have anything still in eating there. Okay, well, I'll give the people a little something to hold on to now. Gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'll wrap it up. Yeah, I'm in talking, talking. So I'll, I'll pick up the pace. And um, how I cut up the, the kalaloo bush or dashin bush is the same way I would um, do for when I'm making kalaloo. And if you watch that video, oh, Lord, that was my debut. Oh, but that, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative of you and this channel. Yeah. I and appreciate you as well. Oh, it's only really love in the house all year. <laughs> Shout out the shrines one time. Love in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I think I need another bowl. So. Sure. Oh. Yeah. He ain't giving me my tools. He gave me where to wash. Oh, God, I will wash the where. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Anyway. What's another thing? Let me hear you. You must wash the where's. He washes the wares, right? But could you tell the people that I also offer? And he says, no, 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 I can wash the wares. And then I will say, no, 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 I can help wash the wares. No, 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 I can wash Well, after I well, okay then. <laughs> My grandmother, um, she died now a couple of years. She used to speak Patwa. She will say, well, Zafe, you. I don't know if any of you know what Zafe. No, it means okay. like, okay, well, uh, well, this is what I interpret Zafe, you means. Mm. Not to, not to. Which you don't want to say the word. Can I say the word hell? Yeah, yeah, you could, of course. You could say anything. Decided yeah. to, to hell with you or to heck with you or okay. will die you. You stay there. Okay, so that's you? Zafe you. Well, Zafe, Zafe yeah. Okay, Zafe you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody from, um, if anybody, I mean, Patwa, that is such a dying part of our culture. <laughs> Unless you go Parmen, that might be the only place that you might hear people, you know. Um, Parmen, Lopino. Yes. Antenna, yes, Antenna. Sada. Yeah, yeah. That so much of that kind of culture is dying. So those are the couple things that I remember from my grandmother. How has it been for you, from, you know, be, between your first episode, the Kalaloo, and now, and the now? experience being so visible online? Uh, I don't know. I think um, the first Kalaloo episode was just so surreal for me. I was nervous. If y'all didn't know, I was nervous. There are things that I do to kind of channel away um, kind of nervous energy. Apart from me saying, Lord help me, Lord help me. <laughs> um, I would kind of, you know, given all of my secrets, right? I probably appear shorter than I really am on camera um, because I always straddle my legs when I'm cooking. It's comfortable, but also somehow all of whatever nervous kinetic energy that I have, it just transports down. <laughs> so if I were to stand up normal, this is me, but I can't, so I have to do this. <laughs> I'll let you know, I know all my secrets, right? So coming from then, I think it was so surreal. The, the response on that Kalaloo video was just like, oh my gosh, and oh my gosh. And for me, it's just like, what is everybody oh my gosh in about? Because to me, I didn't think I was doing anything special. I just talking and being me. Um, but there is, there is, there, that is something special because there's nobody else in this world like me. There's nobody else in this world like you. So yes, they might have a million one people cooking. They might have a million one shows or whatever, but nobody could do what I do. And it's the same for you. So don't ever feel intimidated by somebody else. And you should never feel Okay, fine, if somebody's doing something well, they have gifts, that talents, that, that, that's fine. You also have gifts and talents, yeah? So don't ever feel um, intimidated by anybody else. You could, you know, look up to them and say, wow, they're good at what they do, but you will also be good at what you do when you find that out. So I think coming from that to now, I've grown more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, I've also grown more comfortable with the producer in the beginning. I was like, okay. Because I could be a very, very chatty person, in case you didn't realize. But Badawi was very quiet. Very, he still is kind of quiet. I'm, like, not, I'm not the most, like, I mean, I'm not the most talkative person. I could, no, talk, you... I could talk if, you know, if there's a topic. There's and, a topic, and right. We and we talking, we talking. But, you know, I, I am not, I would not con um, describe myself as a chatty person. No, you're not. But would you describe me as a chatty person? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. See, in other words, chat is just a nice way of saying, oh, God, I get let's talk plenty, yeah? And some of you have said so, but I don't care. No, no, no. I appreciate the... Um, the chattiness? The, yeah, the, yeah the, the, your personality is, I think, it, um, it's engaging, very engaging. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what people say. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, 
Yeah, yeah, and that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, that, that is, is a good thing. thing. That that's is a good thing. That's always tell you, you know, just be you. You know, don't try to, you know, Listen, think. listen, I might not be everybody's cup of tea and I'm not trying to be. Exactly. I could only be yeah, me. Exactly. Take me or leave me. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, um, exactly. I don't know, I think it's so funny how life, you know, does be because um, growing up with my sister and I, we would watch Food Network and she, I will always be we always very kind of animated. Mm. Everything I would be, well, everything will turn into a sing song. Mommy, you finish cook. Mommy, you finish cook. Mommy, you finish cook. Everything will turn into a song. And I guess being that animated probably great makes for great TV, which is probably why I watch. <laughs> <laughs> now, right? So, catapult from there, from the first Kalaloo video to now. Um, I am still so thankful for the opportunity and the experience. Um, and I think I've, I've obviously I've gotten a lot more comfortable, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that I do not still give it my all. I would still do my little research, you know, because we have to talk about things. It's not just me cooking, so I will do my little research. I will learn, but Darren, I will have a off, you know, off camera conversation and decide how we take an issue, what we're going to do. So there is work, you know, involved in it. And I always want to put my best foot forward. So while we are all about it being authentic and natural, at the same time, we want to make sure that we put out great content. Yeah. Something you say about, um, you know, the fact that only you could be you, right? Uh -huh. I just explain to people that I don't have a competitive nature. Like I, you know, like I do watch what other people do in. Well, you would be, the, if I have to play games and stuff, me and picking you, because I just want to win in them kind of board games. I mean, in a board, I guess it's like a board game and that kind of thing, yeah, you okay. know, like like that. But I mean, like in life. In life, you know, you're people not a like, yeah, not com yeah, like I'm not competitive about what I'm doing. I'm not competitive about the channel. I don't, right. I don't watch what other people do and be like, you know, oh my gosh, this person doing better than me. And I, wow. yeah. and I think that's important to say because I think a lot of people, and let me be real, in this social media world, exactly, things have a lot, mm. Of, mm. Lot, of, lot of that going on in the background. I personally don't, I just stay in my lane. I don't care who have more followers than me. I, it doesn't matter to me. Now, I'm not saying... And this is a transparent moment. I'm not saying at no point in time that I didn't wonder, well, how come that person think? But at the end of the day, I say, you know what? I can't, I can't do that. I can't be them. I could only be me. So if you're along with me for the ride and you'll, you know, welcome to the family and let's do this thing. You know what I mean? But if I, I can't be anybody else but myself, I'm sorry, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I just cannot. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So don't compare yourself to anybody out there. If you have to go out there and do your thing, just do your thing, stay in your lane, keep your head down. Fine, if somebody's doing something, you know, you congratulate them. You say, oh, that's a real good idea. Yeah. But don't let that take away from the essence of who you are as a person and what you can bring to the table because you can bring something to the table. Now, some of you might you know have... the original name for this thing was bring it to the table? You lie. Was lie. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bring Why? It. Why change it? Is that something you could share online? Um, it wasn't me. Remember, I didn't start this one. It was Quincy. Oh, right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. So the original name was Bring It to the Table. Bring It to the Table. And it started as a topic on an online forum. That's how the oh. whole thing started. About people talking about, well, Quincy had started it talking about his father's recipe for macaroni pie. Ooh, That's okay. how it started. And people just started sharing the, their recipes and that kind of thing. And the topic became so popular on the, the forum right. that it was like, you know, right, well, let us turn it into a blog. And then from a blog wow. to, yeah, 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 yeah. But the original name, yeah, was Bring It to the Table. I think for a lot of us, we might have dreams and things that we want to do. And you might just see the end result. And you think, well, you have to have everything perfect to start. Or they don't believe the lie. If you were to wait, huh, it is a bad combo to be peeling onions and wearing mascara. <laughs> yeah, so allow me a little bit. If you, were to, if you were to wait until everything is perfect to start, you will never start. Sometimes you just have to start and... 
figure it out as you go along. I just tell people that all yeah, the time. Don't wait. Start Nothing where could be is. perfect. Start where you is. Where Come where you is. Start this. Start. Yeah, start somewhere. And you will figure it out. And you'll figure it out. And that's really the fun in figuring it out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so start. You want to start a blog? Start somewhere. Yeah. You may not have a fancy phone. That's okay. Use what you have. Once you come out being authentic and you like, and I've always said, this is what I've said, right? Like, so when I started my blog, I didn't, when I say my blog, um, my food page on Instagram and stuff, I realized that I, the caption was very, very long. And I was like, I had no, I didn't expect it to be like that, but I was very good in writing in, in secondary school. I love writing, I love reading. So when I started it, I realized it gave me an avenue to write. Now, some people say, oh, God, I don't mean I time to read. That's fine. But I write even if nobody reads. And that was true to me. And you know what is so funny? When people reached out to me to, you know, do brand work and stuff for them, they would always say, I read your blogs. It always makes me feel as if I'm tasting the food. And I was like, wow. So suppose I was in the... Oh, gosh, hold on. My eye. <laughs> is the mascara running? <laughs> Yeah, that is a, that is really messed me up too. I, as you use your mascara? No, I'm the onions. Obviously. Yeah. Hold on. I'm yeah, crying. You know, your mascara actually actually running. Run yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he not notice you, Ole. He not notice you. <laughs> to punish me. And decide not to buy. He decided not to buy any paper towels. Yeah, and the one time in the history of me doing this show that my mascara running because he had me cutting up onions that I never had to cut up before. I have no paper towels to wipe my eye. Another transparent moment. Oh my God. I hope I don't cry again on the show. Mm -hmm. Growing up, again? I... Oh, I mean, with mascara. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think a lot of girls maybe kind of go through this, or maybe speaking to myself. I had a very low self-esteem of myself, right? Um, very low. Not to the point where I was like, you know, suicidal or anything, but I did not see myself for who I was. I always thought somebody was nicer than me, somebody had more this than me, somebody had this, blah, 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 more than me. Um, and I guess it's only, and I'll have to say this, because I mean, we're talking here, it's only, you know, when I started to have a real relationship with the Lord that that changed, right? But you cannot allow this world and what other people doing to dictate your pace and to affect so affect you and who you are you know what i mean there is room in this world for everybody so all types all types all types it, it takes all kind of people for the world to go around could you imagine if this world was full of people exactly like me my god i will be at all right okay enough is enough enough <laughs> enough you can take it off a little bit <laughs> i think what the personalities i think i'm an eye type i'm a high eye personality so i'm very you know what i mean I do drama as well, so being in front of the camera and being dramatic is, is not me acting. Well, it's me acting, but it's also me being me. So I will, you know what I mean? Talk with my hands and that kind of thing, but not everybody is like that. And that's for a good reason. Everybody can be the same way, yeah. the same thing, else yeah. life will be so boring, you yeah. know? Now, I think that's something that a lot of people experience, but not everybody comfortable enough talking about, you know? Yeah, but it's things yeah. that we should talk about. And we yeah. want you to know that um, you might see me behind a lens cooking. My life is not perfect. Do not always believe that. Remember on social media, what you see is just a tiny snippet of people's lives, right? It's just a tiny reel. It's a very curated thing. You don't always ever see the real life. So don't think that... You know, you might see me here that, oh, she don't have no problems. Everything, life is just so picture perfect. Life is not always picture perfect. I deal with crap too. I be dealing with crap. Like last year, um, my granny passed away and it was, it was rough. It was probably one of the roughest things that I've been through. Um, so it was rough. So we all, we all deal with our crap. We all have our crap to deal with. You know what I mean? Um, and you deal with it in different ways. So don't ever feel that what you're facing is you alone facing it or whatever, you know. Life, life be happening. Yeah, yeah, life, yeah. Is, life always happens and you just have to roll with the punches. But what I would tell you is don't give up. 
do not give up. Do not give up. In this life, mm -mm, don't give up. All right. You know, it now dawned on me, now this might seem real wicked to say. This might seem real wicked to say. But it now dawned on me that I could have been helping you cutting up, cut up while he was doing this. Thing. And no, I'm not saying that to be wicked or nothing. It just literally now dawned on me that if I was helping you while you was doing it, it would take a much shorter time. Yeah, just saying. Moving on along, guys. He's, and he says this. After I make the final cut of the carrot. You're telling your story. I didn't want to cut you. You don't want to cut me. Yeah. All right, well, I'm ready. I think I'm ready now. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, nice. All right, so finally. Finally. Oh, then I'm real hungry. I know I'm, I'm, just, I'm so hungry I could cry, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully things from here on then will go pretty quickly. I feel like I need a little bit more oil in that. Did you actually read the recipe? Yes, I did. I have it right here. It's all, it's very cute. I don't know if you want to see it. Have it up on my laptop. Let me see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yes, you can zoom, zoom in. in. But I'm about to stay away from my crusty looking nails. I have to get them done. But Yeah. <laughs> see, chicken bhaji rice. So we are at the point where we're heating oil in a pan, then our chicken breast and garam masala. Garam masala, which we did not have, so we made our own. When I say we, I mean really Badawi, right? Um, which brings me to this. You see this? Is this plugged in? Unplug that. Unplug that, everyone. I want the people to know. It's, it's something on my heart. I want them to know. So this goodly gentleman introduced me to the coffee grinder, but you can also use it to grind your spices, right? And I drop hints all how last year. All how I said, oh, this is so nifty. I have to buy myself a coffee grinder. I bite it, I bite it, bite it. Christmas come, I ain't getting nothing for Christmas. He gotta buy my coffee grinder. But anyway. You hear what you say? You say you had to buy yourself a coffee grinder. Yeah, but I keep saying I ain't that get is it. Not, that is not dropping a hint. The way I had to say is, hmm, I had to see who go buy a coffee grinder for me, right? That is a hint. Now that is as subtle as a hammer. I had to see who go buy my coffee grinder. <laughs> I had to see if it was if I get a coffee grinder this Christmas, boy, you know? That's a, that is a hint. That's a hint. Now, if you tell me, I could not buy myself a but coffee grinder. But if you grinder. realize I said I must see five times in the year and I buy it yet, what does that mean? If it means that you can buy yourself a coffee grinder yet. Yeah, so I go have to buy myself my own coffee grinder. So what we have here <laughs> is coriander, cumin. I'm trying to do this before this oil. Get to that. Yeah, I think it has already gone too hot, but I'll just add a little bit. Um, coriander, cumin, cinnamon. What else we add in here? Meaty. Or fenugreek, right? Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Right, nice. So we're going to add in our chicken, which I'd already kind of seasoned before. And then we're going to add in the garam masala. Well, it's already saying things. The pot saying things earlier. It's saying things. And I'm gonna wash my hands. You know what that? If we put uh, again, no, 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 no napkin, paper towel. So I don't know what, what to, what to wipe my hand with. So we add in the um, the onion. All right. So the onions are a little bit translucent now. Now we're going to add. All of our aromatics, garlic, ginger, yummy, yummy, yummy ginger, tomatoes, shadow belly now, and a little salt. Now, I had already seasoned the chicken and added salt to it, so I'm, I'm mindful of that. But we just want to make sure, as we said before, we season every layer. But this is smelling so good, oh my god. Yeah, the jersey's coming, the jersey's coming. We said that all of last year. We in a pandemic and I ain't not going away, why are you taking more jersey for? For me, your staff. All right, cool, I'm organizing you. I don't even have no pension plan or medical. <laughs> this job ain't come with medical and pension planning all year. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> The least I could get is some uniforms. A nice little jersey, so I don't want to be looking for things to wear. But anyway, it's besides the point. 
Now remember, at this point is where we would have added the pumpkin, but we didn't have pumpkin, so you improvise, you add a little carrots, call a little bush. Right, this is where they get boiled on like bhaji. All of this is going to wilt into nothingness, but obviously I cannot all add all one time. Why not? Well, it's a small thing and... and you could add all and cover it on and let it steam down. And let it steam, okay, cool, I can do that. Yeah. Is that what the recipe says? Okay, cover and allow to steam. Mm, yes. I'm going to take instruction. I can't even remember what was said, but it seems... It's true, makes sense, makes sense. Logical. Max sense, max sense. Only real, see, only this is a very vulnerable thing, putting yourself behind a camera, well, in front of a camera. Yeah. It is a very vulnerable thing. I am up to all of you guys' scrutiny and, and jeering or whatever, and quite frankly, I don't care. But there have been times when, like, for example, that first Kalu video, mm. people say all kind of things, and I was like, oh, gosh. You know what I mean? And then Badawi had to say, that will always happen. I didn't expect it. I think that, that is what it was. I didn't expect that when you're out there, the trolls just be trolling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes some people just have nothing good to say, but my grandmother, and I surely hear about this, if you have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. That is what you hear? That is the, the, you never the, the hear you hear something else? Or? Yeah, when I was growing up, it was when they had nothing good to say, spit. I never hear that. Serious? I never hear that. That is how I hear from my grandmother and them. When they had, if you have nothing good to say, spit. <laughs> if something had to come out your mouth, man. You understand? If something <gasps> must come out your mouth, spit. <laughs> oh my God. No, I never hear that. I said, if you have nothing good to say, don't say that thing at all. Um, and it's very easy to sit behind your phone or your laptop and speak ill of people that you are seeing in front of a camera. It's very easy to do that because you are not doing it yourself. But it takes a lot of selflessness to stand here, you know. Um, but I do it because I like it and I do it because I like engaging with you guys. When, when I'm talking, I actually feel like you all are actually there. Um, so, yeah, so we take all your good comments and your bad comments. We just... Trust me, we don't lose any sleep over it. When I started, people was, um, the, the most comments I used to get about, about was my hands. What happened to your hands? Um, people used to be masking what they were saying. So people used to be saying, like, your hands are getting ashy and whatever, whatever. But really and truly, what they wanted to say is your hands too black to be making a food. That's it. And one person actually come out and say my hands look ugly and stink and nasty. Yep. But how are you? Somebody actually said that? I actually said that on one of the videos. Yucky hands. Oh my God, those hands look so yucky. So nasty. Why are you preparing food? Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, yeah. But, Jedi. I, I mean, at that point, I didn't even need to say, say nothing. Yeah, Rare people went and... Oh, well, yeah, that's, you know, that's another thing. You see all the people who just, who just jump in for me before I even have to say anything? Thank you very much. Yeah, yes, yeah. so have you have people who will come in because yeah, I mean, yeah. really, really? I mean, I wasn't even going to respond to that anyway. Because they just I mean. expose themselves. They yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, you what? dumb, you dumb. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. look, look. So, yeah, as I tell you, don't take on people else. Don't take on people. Add rice, butter, ruku, and bay leaves. Okay, so we're adding in the rice now, and it has been washed. That is to give the rice a nice sheen. No, oh, got it, yeah. got it, got, yeah. it, got, it, got yeah. it, got it, got yeah. it, got So the rice will come out too starchy oh, it will look and glossy. A, a nice glossy and loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only this man could cook. Let me tell you, he could cook. He could cook. I use this picking up little tips and tricks I see people doing. Right. Yeah. I never knew right. It makes sense. The, yeah. It gives it the I think uh, um, the person who, who I learned that from was um, a chef, Ed, um, Everard Mendoza. Mm. He is a chef by Fanatic, and he was making um, okra rice. God, no long me need okra rice yeah, with a little salt fish and pig tail. Of course, I had to eat up okra rice soon. I had to do okra rice soon. Yeah, yeah. Was that in the book? I don't remember seeing that. No, thing. I didn't put, I didn't put okra rice. Uh, okra rice should have been there, no? It should have. Yeah, I didn't make it 26. Okra rice should have been there. <laughs> also, volume 2, volume 2. Volume 2, volume 2. That one I might have to pay for, but anyway. <laughs> should I add a little bit more roku? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a man, he believes in the Ruku and the bay leaf, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. bay leaf and Ruku Banton. Mm -hmm. So, I like how the rice is looking. I like how it's smelling. That is a great tip, putting the oil to give it that gloss. I'm going to start using that um, method, and I will tell my mom as well. 
Coconutty milk. And I want all of the coconut milk to go in here. All of it, all of it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I was just getting caught up with this. Yeah, I realized it. Yeah. It started to go wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, it started to get a little... Down the rabbit hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we get here. Yeah, let's let us steam 10 to 12 minutes and it should be good. All right. It's almost time to eat, thank God. And um, you know what this is? I know what it is. Monosodium glutamate also known as vetsin yes if you don't like it but now we did a post on it msg has gotten a bad rap over the years it's not as bad as you think people it is the essence of umami <laughs> see the little extra just coming out yeah. i'm just gonna add some in here again you could leave it out if you don't want to but we adding it in okay Yes. Should I add a little more? I did how much I wanted to. Should I? That, add? I, that looked like it was good. That looked right. Taste nice. it before before you yeah, yeah, add more. But that looked that looked like a good a good a good amount. Yeah, yeah a good yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot! The, the pepper. pepper. That's all right. That's spicy. I'm so careful about it. <laughs> but I like the listen. I think I'm walking away with this. That tip with the oil and the rice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is so glossy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have enough salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah. But I we like the um, shadow Benny at the end. And it's always sometimes good. What sometimes I like to add to at the end is. Add the whole thing. Add all. Yeah, add the whole thing. Yeah, we we'll even add it all. Add the thing. Add the thing. <laughs> yeah, I like to add fresh garlic at the end of a dish too. Like when I finish, make the callaloo. That actually is, our, you know what, and it's a good thing you remind me because it had tastes real good. I need to remember to do that. Say it again. It had tastes real good on a good taste, Yeah, it tastes real good. That so that's when I finish and add the fresh garlic at the end, all you. Yeah. You go have a next level Lulu. Next level callaloo, man. All right, okay, okay, I'm ready. Wait, get the plates. Wait, plate. wait, yeah, You want me to go for the plates? Yeah, oh gosh, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to end up on camera and uh, you get the plates. Huh? No, that's the next thing. But Dawi doesn't eat a lot. I always eat more but than But you're paying a lot, though. But well, Dawi does it. Well, half a spoon again, half a spoon. Yeah, yeah, looking good there. Mm -hmm. So annoying. I take in home most of this, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It ain't easy being a bachelorette out here. <laughs> He's had to think ahead. No, oh my god, this is a little ASMR with the rice. Mm, you leave in some for later. Don't be on me now, horse. Don't be on me now. Don't be on me now. Don't be on me. <laughs> Alright, so Oosh. let me get us a fork. <laughs> I go I go eat my with a spoon. Yes, I yeah, I feel like there's a kind of spoon, kind of meal. A like spoon, that. vibes for yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. All right, all right, okay. Mm hmm Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, all right. Let me see what's going on. Make it mess all kind of them. But nah. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Alright, wrap this up so um we could stop recording. <laughs> we don't think it's written. Mm. So let's try the recipe now. Download the book. This is legit. It's, it's for real. And we're not lying. We love all this you on the next show. <laughs> and that's it. End it, end it, end yeah. it, end it. Later, later. It is Bye. Later. <laughs> Where's some more? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want the one plenty. No, it is in there. Does it add more? Add more. You're going into my share. Okay, this half a spoon then. Half a spoon. Okay, half, half a spoon. spoon. Right, that's good. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thanks. La la, mm 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 mm. La 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 la. Mm 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 mm. How does this so good though? If my recipes is nonsense, so. <laughs> it's not. But I cook it. Yeah. The 
If you ask me selling dreams or... Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Crystal. Well done. 